cocky in your walk with God. Don't you ever get so mm, with your walk with God in that, look at all these stupid people making stupid decisions. Don't you ever get in your head that you can't fall. Prejudice goes far deeper than color and race. You see it all the time in this world. You see it all the time sometimes in church. Well, I won't hang around this person because this person, you know, isn't as mature as I am. I, uh, I don't do those things that they do any longer. I'm better than they are. I saw them smoking. <laughs> and I saw you at the buffet. <laughs> Did you hear them cuss? I heard the S word come out of their mouth. Oh, really? Well, I saw you in worship on Sunday morning lifting your hands, and you weren't thinking about Jesus at all. That's called taking the Lord's name in vain. Isn't it time you mind your own stinking business? Isn't it time that we never, 1 Corinthians, never raise ourselves up to a place. Thank you. Where we get so prideful that we don't think that we could fall in that sin. There's one more verse. Here it comes. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of, you stupid moron. What is wrong with you, Matthew? Why would you do that, Matthew? That was absolutely stupid. I would never do that. Your wife would never do that. Mr. Darrell would never do that. Howard would never, but you. Yes. <laughs> That's not gentle. That's called condemnation. And how do you know he hasn't already asked Jesus to forgive him? So you're throwing it in his face. But God ain't. So are you better than God? Mind your own stinking business. I said, mind your own stinking business. Amen. You mind your own business, you don't have to worry about pointing your finger at anybody else. I don't know about you, I got enough issues in my life that I don't need to point at anybody else. Amen. Say amen or oh my. Amen. I got enough things to forget in my own life. Hello? Yep. You know, that's why in some churches, the pastors chase you around, want to know your business. I don't want to know your business. You want to invite me, I'll come visit. But I'm not going to sit in your business. Why? I got my own business. I love you, but I'm not going to get involved if you're not invited. I had somebody call me not just recently, and they said, Pastor, no, they don't come to this church. I never met them a day in my life. They said, Pastor, there's somebody in your church that is going through a family problem. Let me explain it to you. And I said, I wasn't invited. Isn't it time you mind your own business? They hung up on me. I was heartbroken. <laughs> Another person called me after that, and I knew this person about the same family. And they said, I think I need to keep you up to date on this. And I said, I don't think so. It's not my business. Why are you making it yours? That's between their family and the Lord Jesus Christ. And if I'm invited, I'll come. But I ain't coming, and why are you? Folks, this is real stuff because people are going through hard times in life. They deal with real issues in their life. We've all made poor decisions in our life. We've all done things and said things. We've gone places. Things have happened that we never thought would ever happen before. You and I cannot ever get to the place where we are so prideful that when somebody struggles and falls, that we are not there to lift them up. Now, listen, now, if, they, if they're willing to stay in the swill, if they're willing to play in the dirt, I'm not asking you to get dirty, but I'm asking you to hold a towel when they get out. I'm asking you to give grace where grace needs to be given. I'm asking you to do what Jesus did. Hey, Peter, 
when you get up. By the way, I'm praying for you. I'm not leaving you alone. I'm not abandoning you. I'm not throwing you away because I know you're going to deny me three times. I am here for you. People who need grace better give grace. I said people who need grace better give grace. Come on, the last part of that verse and then we're done. Last, there we go. Brethren, if a man or is overtaken in a trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of gentleness. Here it is. Considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. That means nobody in this room, but by the grace of God, say amen. amen. Nobody in this room has been, that is better than anybody else. And I want to challenge you in this place. This is what makes his tabernacle his tabernacle. This is what we strive to do in here. And that is to be people of grace and mercy. Ah, oh, but pastor, you should have kicked these people out a long time ago. Well, maybe I should kick you out. Somebody came to me once and said, well, I think somebody needs to go. I said, well, you choose which soul you're going to kick to hell. I'll back you up. You tell me what soul to send to hell. They, they got quiet. Because here's the reality. No one's going to beat you down worse than yourself anyways. And when you got the Holy Ghost working in your life, thank you, Jesus. And no one needs anybody to kick anybody down under the ground when they've already been forgiven. Those are the people that, if you are really spiritual, you are going to be the first one to grab them and lift them up and build them and strengthen them. Why? Because you know, but by the grace of God, you're not the one in the hole. Say amen or oh my. Amen. Not me! Okay, Pete, you hang on for the ride. Because we'll be picking you up, and we're going to love you when we pick you up. But man, don't be foolish enough to be Pete in that aspect. He was a really good man, by the way. My question to you is this. Today, some of you are dealing with severe cases of self-condemnation. You are your worst enemy in your walk with God. You are the one the devil is using to tear yourself to pieces to where you're never able to excel to the next level of life in Christ Jesus. I want to challenge you today. Today, you need to give yourself some mercy. You'll give other people mercy, but you very rarely will give yourself mercy. I challenge you today to give yourself mercy because you need it. Amen.